peace. So in this video, I'm going to build on complaining, whining, always playing the victim. I'm going to give some real life scenarios and some real in-depth takes at the end of the video. So keep watching. So I'm targeting this video to men specifically. Most men don't even think they'd be complaining. It's like they chopping it up. They just having conversation and they talking to their mans in them. But it be complaining. Not all the conversations, but you know what I mean. If you ask somebody, hey man, what's going on? How you doing today? Man, I'm cool, man. I'm just trying to trying to make a dollar, man, trying to trying to put something together. You know, bills didn't got high or the price of bread then went up. That's complaining. Now, that don't necessarily mean that you whining like a bitch. It's complaining. And what complaining does, it triggers your subconscious to play the victim role. A lot of people don't even know that the words that you say, you send in direct messages to your subconscious to make that a reality. Now, it may sound woo-woo and, you know, kind of sound like it's some fantasy, mystery type build here, but it's really not. Your conscious is not in control. You think your conscious is in control. It's your subconscious that's regulating everything. It's the person that's behind the scenes. It's the behind the scenes you. It's your subconscious. So when you be complaining... You sending those messages to your subconscious to help you make you play the victim. Now, some niggas just be straight whining. Everything is pessimistic. Everything is negative. You know, right now, in these times, with inflation and money is funny and you can't get a job and you know, the price of living is so high. Inflation went up 6 7%. And your annual increase at your job is 2 or 3 4%. So you, then you start complaining about that. But let me ask you this, though. What the fuck does complaining get you, though? I'm not omitting myself, right? I'd be in the same scenarios. But rest assured this, nobody that knows me is going to say, I'll be complaining. I don't fucking complain. I don't whine about it. For me, this shit is a big ass game. Not a game like it's a joke and not to take serious. Nah, not that type of game. It's a game, right? And that, and that helps me rationalize everything, like in terms of how I'm looking at everything. It's a game. Some people have more higher higher power levels than other people some people are in better positions and some people are not in the most advantageous positions right it's a game so what do you do what do you do where is the complaining going to get you and once you start complaining consistently that complaining turns to whining then you sound like a bitch then you're whining one of the most disgusting, despicable shit things I hate to see is when a dude is arguing, complaining, and whining with his bitch. Fuck no, man. Fuck no. We don't whine and complain to no bitch. Nah, man. We not doing that. You... Being the man is supposed to figure a way in this shit. You're supposed to be able to plan ahead, make provisions, and execute. Even if you have to weather the storm, you maintain your position. You maintain your plan. And if your woman isn't taking that step with you, or she don't believe in your vision, she don't believe in your plan, then she ain't the bitch for you. It's simple. 
Like th that's another whole video, right? I can delve into that, but that's that's strictly another video. So back to the complaining. The complaining turns to whining. A dude is with his girl. They having a mis a mis um communication, a misunderstanding. Then she's naturally complaining and whining. And then you end up in her frame. Then your ass is complaining and whining. Because you the lost frame. Now she controls the frame. Right? But that also plays into you complaining and putting that shit in your subconscious to play the victim. So now, since you're complaining about X, Y, and Z, now you're complaining and whining with your girl at the crib because she didn't twist your ass and put you in her frame. You see how that complaining shit just starts doing a domino effect? Then your ass just start complaining. Then you a victim. Nah, bro, don't play the victim. Don't play the victim. You would rather die on your feet than live on your knees. Man, go out on your shield. Man, fall on your sword, man. Do not play the victim. And if you play the victim, that denotes that you don't have no confidence in yourself. It's imperative that you have confidence in yourself and then you won't be whining and complaining. I mean, but everything ain't going to be perfect, right? Curveballs is going to come. Situation is that's going to arise that you didn't make plans for. There was no provisions. And you know what that's called? That's called life, man. This shit is robust and dynamic. It's constantly changing. Things is constantly changing. So you keep your head on a swivel, right? You stay prepared. You stay ready so you don't have to get ready. You align your finances strategically so you can have an egg's nest, right, when the storm hits. Maybe the storm hit next week. Maybe the storm hit, don't hit for 10 years. But that's what you do though, right? Head of the household, you the man, you the planner, you the leader. You have to make these provisions. You must make plans. So when the shit do hit the fan, you'll be able to move maneuver accordingly, right? And if you don't make those plans when the shit do hit the fan, your confidence is shot. Then you complaining. Inflation is up. Democrats, Republicans, Biden, Trump, vote. Now, we're not walking that walk. Your life, your livelihood should not and cannot be in another man's hands. That don't mean don't go to work. Of course you go to work, right? Going to work isn't no scum bucket weak shit. You're getting paid for your services. So that's like an interdependency right there. You're getting paid, you providing a service, you're getting paid for your service. That's capitalism, that's the way this shit go. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The issue becomes when they can cut that shit off and your ass fall. Your whole world crumbles because you didn't make provisions. So when inflation do rise, you're complaining about rich people. You're complaining about the government. You're complaining about your job. Now, fuck complaining, man. Fuck complaining. Fuck whining. Doing none of that shit. Stay on cold, man. Stand on your square. Fuck no. The weak gonna complain. The weak gonna freaking whine and play victim. Absolutely, there's no victims. Don't be the victim. There's too many victims. Even if you get pushed back, even if things don't go according to plan, even if you feel like you got dealt an unfair hand, which we all find ourselves in them scenarios once upon a time, two, three, four, five times. All right? Man, what about the bounce back? What about the story? What about the comeback? What about the, I got knocked down and bounced back up? Come on, man. Don't be the victim. Don't complain. Don't, and definitely don't be fucking whining. Don't be sounding like no bitch. Don't whine. You know? 
It's a dude right now looking at this as a fucking whiner and you laying next to your bitch and she thinking to herself, you a bigger bitch than me. She just playing her role. She's making you feel good. Fuck no. Never. We ain't never doing that. You always maintain your frame and stand on your square. There's no two sets of rules, man. Integrity, honor, right? You got to have all of that. And that shit builds your confidence. And that shit gives you confidence. All of that shit is all packaged up. And you must move accordingly. So when the shit hit the fan, when the storm come, when the curveball is coming... You're going to weather that shit, man. And the more you weather it, the stronger you get and the more you learn to be agile, right? And you move with it. That's like when somebody getting hit with a punch. If you stand there and let somebody crack your ass without rolling with it, you're liable to go to sleep. But you can't dictate or know when that punch is coming, right? What's that punch? That punch is life. You didn't know when fucking COVID was coming, right? All those people lost their jobs. Folks lost their houses, all type of weird shit, all type of crazy shit happened. Nobody predicted that. Nobody saw that shit coming. Well, some people did because people be on that shit. But for the most part, just I'm making generalizations. Didn't see that shit coming. Straight crippled people. People were still trying to get their foot, they footing up under them. And that shit was like three years ago. Like two years ago. The provisions wasn't there. And then you crying. You are playing victim. You know, well, hope they don't do it again. Right, it just showed you what could happen. Somebody else is playing the fucking puppet master. Somebody else is Geppetto, and then we just all walking around like we fucking Pinocchio. But not a victim, though. Don't be the victim. Don't complain. Don't fucking whine. Build up, stack up, get ready, man. Get assets, right? Make investments, right? Stop living for the day, think in the future. Be in the present, but make provisions. Especially if you got people depending on you. If you got kids, your wife, mother, father, whatever the case may be. If you got other people depending on you, and you like the leader of your clan, the leader of your fold, it's imperative that you always be steps ahead. But then that goes to responsibility. A lot of motherfuckers don't got that responsibility in them because they got to look out for more people other than themselves. Yourself can't be the fucking high priority. And this is what I mean by this. You are the high priority, right? Because without you, everything else don't go. But you are making all your moves predicated to win to benefit everybody else. That's what I mean by you're not the, like you're not the priority. Because I'm not doing shit for me per se. I'm not. I have a big fucking responsibility. People depend on me. So I'm forging ahead. I'm making sure that I'm right. I'm making sure I'm on my square. I'm making sure I'm healthy. I'm making sure I'm ready to go. I'm making plans, right? I'm making investments. I'm gaining assets. I'm making more money. I'm financially sound. I'm getting after it. But it ain't for me, right? Of course, I'm going to reap some of the benefits because it's me. But a lot of it, 90% of it, is for everybody else that's depending on me because I'm trying to get them to the point to where they're going to be fine. So, yeah, man, this is a quick video, it's a stream of thought that I had. I just want to build on it. Don't complain, don't whine, and definitely don't play a victim. Don't be a bitch, right? Don't let your woman switch the frame on you. You going back and forth with her. Both of y'all fucking yelling and whining and complaining, looking crazy as fuck. You don't have to be disrespectful. I'm damn sure not advocating that. Ain't about being disrespectful. I'm saying maintain your frame, stand on your square, be a man. And if y'all really in a solid relationship, then she should be following your lead and you should be leading effectively like this is what we got going on, this is the plan, so on and so forth. Again, it's another whole video, but stop complaining, don't complain, don't whine, right? And you never play the victim. Like, comment, subscribe. Give me your thoughts, man. Leave those comments. Let me know what y'all think. There's more to come. Stream of consciousness. Just building. As always, let's go get it. Peace.